Once upon a time, there was a king who ruled a very powerful kingdom. There lived a dragon named Drogo. The citizens of the kingdom were frequently seen playing with Drogo for hours on end. But some people started spending too much time with Drogo. They would put their work and their families aside, as if Drogo would solve all their problems. The king concluded that Drogo was to blame for the affliction of many families and started a campaign to ban the dragon. And soon, Drogo became public enemy number one and was forced to flee, hiding in the darkness. But the ban was futile, as more and more people wanted to play with Drogo. Armed groups formed to make money by charging visits to the dragon. Crime and corruption ensued as these gangs started battling one another for control. A law was passed, prohibiting people from having any form of contact with Drogo. Offenders were to be arrested. Soon, the dungeons were crowded with non-violent offenders who were treated mercilessly, including people who were dependent on being with Drogo. The king started investing enormous amounts of the royal treasure into a war against Drogo. It was then that people came to a powerful realization. The more they fought Drogo, the stronger and more menacing he grew and the more violent the gangs became. The kingdom was shaken by a violent war that soon spread across all neighboring kingdoms. The war went on for more than 40 years, causing death, poverty and destruction. Then, former rulers of several kingdoms decided to break the taboo. People began to recognize that war and violence against Drogo were the main problems. Attitudes changed. As the dragon was brought under the kingdom's control, Drogo slowly returned to his original size. The gangs lost influence and dropped their weapons. People could live without fear, understanding that supporting those who suffered because of Drogo was a smarter decision than killing and incarcerating people in an endless war. The story didn't end there, nor did everyone live happily ever after. But the kingdom saw that while a world without Drogo may be a utopia, one with less violence and suffering could be very real. <laughs>